at Dollywood today. Decided to come up on a random Tuesday, see if there's anything new going on. We're about three weeks out from uh, the Smoky Mountain summer celebration starting. So I wanted to see if they were starting to get anything set up for that. Getting, getting ready for that. Oh, the train's getting ready to come by. Anyway, so we're going to show you guys around. If we find anything new, we'll include that in the video. We'll look through, look through some of the shops, see if there's anything new in there, see if they've got anything set up for Smoky Mountain Celebration yet. We'll try some food as well. Try a restaurant that we've not tried yet here on, a, on the channel. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how today goes. Again, no real agenda other than just seeing what's new, what's going on. This is the splash pad area in Wildwood Grove. And it looks like they have added some uh, antique trucks and a small stage right over there. Um, I think that's probably getting ready for the summer celebration that starts in a few weeks. But yeah, they have uh, added a couple new things up here to this part as well. We are at the Blazing Fury. It says it is a 15 minute wait. That steam train. The guys are going today. Well, kinda. We got a little bit of it going down there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, for the 4,372 times we featured on this video on this channel, was the Blazing Fury. Now. You may be able to see, I got some content. We're gonna, we're gonna post it in here. There's a little bitty clip. So there's a guy sitting in, in one of the little houses off to the left in the, saloon. in the saloon that has on like Terminator style sunglasses. Uh, Jen noticed it maybe three or four times ago we wrote it. Like a few months ago, yeah. Maybe, yeah, a few months ago she noticed it. And uh, I think maybe I got it on video this time. So we're gonna drop that video in here. I'll try to slow it down and point it out. I'll put a little arrow pointing to where it is. That way you guys can see it. That way the next time you're here, you can uh, look for yourself and find the guy in Terminator glasses inside the Blazing Fury. We're gonna step into the Mountain Grove Merchants. I saw a shirt that I hadn't seen before, so I wanted to stop and check it out. It is this one here. It's a good looking shirt. There's the front of it. And it is $24.99. I believe that all these shirts right here are new. I don't believe I've seen any of these yet. I like this one. Looks like 1980s. Good looking shirt. The Till and Harvest restaurant in Wildwood Grove has added some new food. They have a Mexican bowl and nachos. So they did just have the cheeseburger and chicken tenders. They had sort of a very select menu uh, looks like they've added a couple new things so that's cool lumberjack's pizza looks like it is back open and it should be open for the summer this is a great place to stop to grab yourself uh, something to eat they do have plenty of outdoor seating and a some shaded area this is going to be right across from the drop line turn around so you can see that guys uh drop line currently is not not operating hasn't operated in probably a month and a half two months now but yeah, it's right across from that great place to eat. So make sure you check out Lumberjack's Pizza. So we stopped at Lumberjack's to try the pizza. Uh, now what I got is the actual Lumberjack pizza. It is a eight inch personal pan pizza. Normally it is eleven ninety nine uh, with the discount. I believe it came to like ten sixty three. So we're going to give this a try. Let you know what we think. Now this is not like the flatbread pizza that you get over next to the train. Uh, this is like an actual. Reminds me a lot of like the old school Pizza Hut personal pan pizzas. But here we go. It's 
pizza. The dough is really good. It's got a good crust on it. The meat has a lot of flavor. The cheese is good. The pizza is hot. It's good. Good pizza. Again, this is Lumberjack's Pizza. It is right across from the drop line um, here at Dollywood. Great little place to get out of the shade or get out of the sun, get in the shade. Get yourself uh, some food, cool off a little bit, but this is it. There you go, Lumberjack's Pizza. <laughs> We've had several people ask about kids' clothes. Uh, this is all inside the Dollywood Emporium. Uh, they do have just regular Dollywood shirts. They have coaster shirts, some wild eagle stuff. And then it stretches on around. Over here you can see they have more. These are basic Dollywood shirts. They also have some Dollywood caps for kids. You see those here. It's a good looking shirt. And then of course all that is the boy stuff and then down here is all the girl stuff. They do have a large selection of boys and girls kids clothes here at Dollywood. They've got caps, t-shirts, shorts, sweatshirts, hoodies, a little bit of everything. They even have these uh, bucket caps. These are nice. That's a tot size. That helps keep the sun off their head and off the back of their neck. Yeah, they do have a good selection of kids clothes here at Dollywood Emporium. Yeah.